Tech fans, what's going on? Welcome back once again to the channel. For you guys who've been wondering where Buddy the Dog is, well, he's right here. He's doing okay. He's just getting a little old, but we thought we'd have him in today's video. Now, for you guys who follow the channel, you guys know that we've checked out a previous set of Sennheiser gaming headphones. This was the GSP 370 set of headphones, and they were very nice. Coming into market at $200 with a lot of great features. Now, today, we're going to be taking a look at a high end set of headphones. This is the GSP 670 headphones. Now, these particular headphones are more geared for people who are an audiophile, but still game. So if you're a person who's really into music just as much as you're into gaming, then you might want to consider these particular headphones. Now, another really great thing about these particular headphones is the microphone is broadcast quality. And as you guys can see, I'm recording the intro to this video with the mic. And what's also also really nice about this microphone is to mute the microphone all you simply do is just lift it up and then you're done so let's jump into the video let's check out the features and let's see what the GSP 670 headphones can bring to you just looking at the GSP 670 headphones, they look really, really nice. I mean, the entire design of these headphones is actually made for extreme comfort, to have really high-end features, and to be the best sounding headphones that you can get in the price range. Now, one of the first things you'll notice, we'll just start off right on the top of the headphones, is that the band is really adjustable, and it's actually made to fit your head quite tightly if you'd like, which means that you can get those ear cups to go on your head and fit your head really, really snugly, and it'll do this without actually causing you any type of stress whatsoever. And in fact, the adjustable headband is very well padded so it can sit in your head and not cause you any type of stress whatsoever, even after hours of use. Now there is one particular thing about these particular headphones that I wasn't able to find out, is that is actually what size drivers that they use, but they are Sennheiser type drivers, so you know you're gonna be getting that same Sennheiser audio quality across the board. Like you guys saw in the very beginning of the video, the microphone is a really nice microphone. It sounds great, it actually eliminates some background noise as well. Now, one thing though to take note of, if you're using it on the Windows 10 platform, you're going to get all of the features that you get on the headphones. But if you're going to be using these headphones on your PS4 and not on your Windows 10 system, you're only going to get the noise cancellation and the side tones. Now, as we work our way down the side of the headphones, you can see that they feature a solid two axis metal hinge system, and this is made for outstanding durability and also allows a very perfect fit like I talked about previously. And I think the hinge actually looks just as good as it performs. That's just my personal opinion. Now the cups themselves are really comfortable. They feature a suede-like material, but they also have a leather band that goes all the way around the outside, and this helps keep all the sound isolated within the headphones and not bleeding out to the public. Now on the right hand side of the GSP 670s, there's three different controls. There's actually a smart button that activates the audio settings of your choice in the Windows 10 environment. You have a scrolling volume wheel and you also have control to regulate the chat volume, which means if you're in game and someone says, hey my God, man, you're blowing me out. You can actually turn that volume back a little bit and make sure that you're coming across clearly and not overwhelmingly loud. Now on the left hand side, that's where the microphone is. You also have the fast charge USB connection as well as the button for pairing up the headphones. Now as far as frequency response, the microphone has a 10 to 7300 hertz maximum range. The frequency response of the headphones is 10 to 2300 hertz. The sound pressure level, which is basically how loud they get, is 112 dB, which is plenty loud. Now, if you're wondering what comes inside the box, you get the headphones themselves, you get a GSA 70 dongle, you get the USB cable, and the USB cable is 1.5 meters. Now, what's really cool about these headphones is, is that you can actually charge them while you're listening to them. Now, if you're gonna be using the Bluetooth connectivity, you get 20 hours of battery life, and if you're gonna be using the low latency connection, it's 16 hours of battery life. The wireless range of these particular headphones is also 10 meters, and this seems to be pretty much the standard throughout all headphones. And if you find yourself in a situation where all the power is drained, with a 7-minute charge, you get 2 hours of battery life. That's not bad at all. 
The GSP670 headphones also feature 7.1 surround sound audio, so it doesn't really matter whether you're playing games, whether you're watching TV, a movie, or whatever. If you're looking for a set of headphones that has that surround sound capability, these are built in as well. Now, really quick before we jump in and listen to the sound test, um, I just want to tell you guys that we tested the GSP 370 headphones about two weeks ago and those headphones when we listened to them had really really deep bass they were very very loud they came to market at two hundred dollars and like i said this particular set of headphones comes to market at actually about a hundred dollars more right now on amazon since they're on sale and for the quality that you're getting especially if you're really into a high quality microphone and you're a person who's more into listening to like you know jazz music classic classical music and you're looking for a set of headphones that's more along the lines of like Bose then I think that the 670s are really nice but in my conclusion I'll cover a couple other things so real quick though let's jump in and let's just do a quick audio test and see how they sound Okay, so I think that many people out in the world still consider wireless headphones to not be as good as wired headphones. And honestly, with the technology gains that we've seen in the past year, that's just not true anymore whatsoever. The GSP 670 headphones have pretty much, you know, as far as I can see, total no lag. I'm not hearing any lag playing games, watching movies, anything. I don't hear any lag. Now, maybe there might be some micro millisecond somewhere in there, but to my ears, I can't hear it whatsoever. Now, these headphones, like I said, are very, very comfortable. And in fact, something that I didn't talk about earlier is there's actually a second adjustment on the band, which I've never seen before in any other set of headphones. So you not only get your standard, you can actually adjust them so they perfectly fit your head. And what I really like about these is when you get them on and you snug them up on your head, they're really nice and tight on your ears. And a lot of people might think, okay, well, that sounds really uncomfortable, but it's really not. The pads on here, they're like a suede-like material. I don't know if it's actually suede, but it's very suede life, so it's really, really soft. And what I was talking about earlier is this leather band around the side right here. Because the leather band isn't made of the same material and the leather's a lot more dense, the sound's gonna get trapped in inside of these making these kind of isolated they're not completely like you know sound isolating headphones they're not marketed like that whatsoever but if you're playing a game and someone comes up to you and tries to talk to you they're not going to be able to communicate with you they're going to have to tap you on your shoulder or yell really really loud so first off comfort level extremely extremely nice very flexible these things are made really well like i said the, the swivel that's right here that connects the headphones, it's kind of interesting the way it goes down. That's why I said it looks kind of neat. And the fact that it's made of super duper high quality metal, it's going to last for an extremely long time. You guys heard the mic test in the beginning of the video. I honestly think that this mic sounds a lot better than the one in the GSP 370. That's just my personal opinion. If you guys go watch the other video, you'll see that the clarity and just the loudness and everything of this particular microphone is better since it is made for broadcast quality. Plus, the very fact to me 
need it, you don't have to do anything, but just click the bar up and you're good to go. I like that as well. Now, as far as audio goes, Many of my friends listen to the GSP 370s and the GSP 670s, and a lot of my friends said that they really, really liked the GSP 370s because they have really, really booming bass. So if you're a person who's not only gaming, but you're listening to like EDM type of music or music that you know requires a whole lot of bass, the 370s are really nice at that you know $200 price range. Now, this particular set of headphones, like I said, is $100 more, but for me, as far as just listening to like music that's not going to have a bunch of booming bass, I think these particular headphones are better because they're more geared for gaming but also for an audiophile. So if you're a person who you do game but the main thing that you do is listen to music and you're not a person who's listening to strictly EDM or dance music or all that boom 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 stuff, then you really might want to go check these out at a Best Buy or somewhere in person and see how the audio is. For people out there who say, oh my god, I I love Bose stuff, I think you're really going to like these. Plus, they come with a two-year warranty as well. So, you know, two years, anything goes wrong, you'll be able to exchange them. Really, um, personally, I can't really find anything to beat up on these headphones. I know you guys always like it when the reviewers go, oh, I, I hate this and I hate that. You guys always want us to kick, the, you know, the company in the, in the ball sack with their product. But beyond the price at $300, I can't really complain about these headphones. Now, the price may be a little bit high, but let's just think about it. You know, when you're getting into really high quality audiophile headphones, headphones can cost up to $1,600. I mean, even more than that. So for something that's coming to market at $300, has really good audio, great microphone, you know, all in all, I think it's a really solid product and editor's choice here on Tech of Tomorrow. Like usual, I will have a link down below. So if you guys want to check out more specs, you know, more people's opinion around the net, you know, go and do so. I think most people are going to agree that these are a really solid set of headphones. So I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. We're all over social media. If you'd like to support us, you can try Amazon Prime. It's free. It helps support us with no money out of your pocket. And if you do feel like donating a couple dollars to the site to keep us going, then hey, we have a Patreon on as well. So all the links are down below. Peace out. God bless you guys. 2020 is right around the corner.